guys. So these are my current wall art. These are the ones that I'm about to take down and replace with the other wall art I shared with you guys about two hauls ago. So it was the record player. You know what I'm talking about, right? Right. So yeah, we're going to take those down right here and put them in a dining room. But I'll share with you guys all what I do. Okay, so they just told me that the holes from the previous wall art is going to be visible to this other new wall art. So I don't know what we're going to have to do. Might have to go ahead and just try to caulk it and paint it. But for right now, we're just going to put the picture up and see what it's given. But I hate that. This holes right there. The one in the middle be covered up, right? Mm -hmm. Just the ones on the side. So yeah, I'm so excited. We finally getting started on this round. Little by little, little by little. Hey, good morning, sunshines. Today is Thursday. On April the 3rd, I believe, I'm on my way to the doctor. Um, if you've been following my journey for a couple of weeks now, I tell you, I've been having some ear in, um, infection. Ear infection has been giving me some problems and stuff. And I know I'm not supposed to, but I did stop taking my antibiotics because I don't like the way it made me feel. Anyway, so yeah, I'm on my way to um, the doctor um, very casual looking today, just pushing my hair back, threw on some comfort clothes because it is that time of the month. Um, yeah. So I'm sitting in the car waiting on Chip. He went in Walmart right quick to pick up something. Stopped at my favorite coffee place, 151. Got me a 151 caramel macchiato and whip and drizzle. It's a frappe. So good. I love it better than the caramel crunch from Starbucks. It is what it is. I know a lot of people, you know, um, said that they don't, well, they think, oh, I got caramel. Excuse me, y'all. Um, now I'm going to be sticky. Said that it's better than anything that they've had anywhere else or whatever. But it's all about, you know, your taste buds or whatever. I think, personally, it's better than the Starbucks ones. But anyway, enough of that. Just want to jump on real quick. Didn't really want to jump on, but I want to just go ahead and introduce this portion of the video because it is another day since I last talked with you about, I think, the picture, the wall art. Um, so, yeah, I'm um, not going to be doing much today because I got a lot of stuff I need to do at the house. Um, it looks like our trip might be on hold. Chimp has some stuff going on with his work. Um, they're not in compliance with a lot of stuff. So, his business trip with his job may be on hold. I don't know. I haven't even started packing because it was just so wishy-washy. And that's one thing I don't like is uncertainty. I don't like not knowing. So, but I keep y'all update on that. If I do go, y'all know I said I was going to take y'all with me anyway. So, yeah, um, if I get any more action, I'll come back on here, y'all. Not a lot coming out just yet. morning y'all um today is friday the fifth i'm up um i got up kind of 
a little bit earlier than I normally do because last night was kind of rough. Okay, so when I went to the doctor yesterday um, about my ear, um, they told me that my blood pressure was up. It was like 169 over 90. And I felt okay, but they pointed out my blood pressure was kind of up. But I guess she didn't find it to be a concern um, too much because she didn't say anything like, um, we're going to take you to the emergency room or anything like that. But after I got home, I started having, like, bad headaches. Um, and it took a long, long time for it to ease up. Where now that I woke up today, I still feel that pressure. She said I did not have no sinus infection. didn't have no ear infection, no fluid in my ear. Everything was working out for the good, but I still had some wax and, um... A little, a little fluid behind that eardrum that she couldn't get to. So I need to see um, a physical therapist and another ENT to finish that off. But yeah, so I'm up because I got to run a couple of errands. I'm about to take my 9 a.m. medication, which is a... um. Which is a um, extended release heart medication. It's supposed to help with like heart attack patients and everything like that. And then I take this little pill right here, like a little football pill. It helps with um, acid reflux and GERD. Yeah, so I'm about to do that. So I'm about to go ahead and finish getting dressed. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Peace. All right, you guys. So y'all can tell. I just left Amazing Brows where I get my eyebrows and everything threaded. Oh, you guys, that was tough. That was tough. Why are y'all leaning? Excuse how I'm looking. I was just laying down in that chair. Y'all, I broke a doggone nail. My real nail came off. I'm so hurt. I'm so hurt. Like, what? just got these done. Oh, excuse this mess, y'all. I'm hot. Texas weather don't know how to act. I'm so hurt about my nail. Oh, shit. Just got them done. I'm talking about all the way to the fat meat. Well, I was saying, it was rough. In there because y'all know I had that vertigo and laying back was kind of tough, but once I stood up and got you know balanced a little bit, it eased up. But honey, trip over here at this store. I hope I don't need to put on my seatbelt, but oh. I don't know what I'm about to do next. Once we come out of this store, I think I'm going to head to Burlington. Um, I'm looking for something for my pink sis as well as my real sis. So, dang, somebody got my pocket spot where I was. Part. I'll part right here. Oh, hold on. No, they didn't. Um, so I need to go in there to make sure I'm parked correctly because these parts ain't straight. Oh, y'all, so I just want to jump on. I'm really, really in my feelings about this dog on pinky finger coming off. It's nail. Like, it looks so ugly now, y'all. Y'all don't know anything about me. I hate a broken nail. Like, I despise a broken nail. Like... It looks so ugly. Good thing it didn't hurt, but honey, that's all the way to the fat meat. 
I'm so hurt. And I'm, I don't even want to get a new, I'm just, when, how, how it happened? It just, that was digging in my purse, pulling out my keys, and it just, the sucker just popped out. So I'm going to sit here and wait for Chip to come out of this store. And I think I'm going to run to Burlington. Um, hopefully I have enough time to go to Ross. I need to mail off some packages. That's about it, y'all. I'm not going to record in the store. Y'all know I can't concentrate and record. One day I'm going to just do a shot with me and I ain't going to say nothing. I'm just going to show y'all what I see. But, um... Yeah, I had to go get my lip done. I didn't do it last time. I think the hormone medication I'm on is what making my hair grow rapidly. I've always kind of been like a hairy person. But this is, like, this hair growth is like two times. And I think it's because of the hormone medication that I'm on. Um, so I had to go get my lip done because I didn't do it last time. I took you guys with me. And I got my chin done. Um, and that was probably what two weeks ago. Last time I took y'all with me, I didn't take y'all in there, but y'all knew I went there, got that touched up because, like I said, the hair is coming back kind of stronger and thicker. So it looks like I'm gonna have to put that in my self care budget to kind of come every two weeks instead of once a month, like I normally was doing, which is not expensive. Lip and chin is eight bucks. So, not that bad, but you know what I could do with that eight bucks. I can get me a smoothie. I can get me an iced coffee. Mm -hmm. But I am feeling a little bit better as far as my headache is concerned. Um, the dizziness is still here. Uh, but I think I can manage and I think I can go on with my day. So, I'm going to see y'all when I see y'all. Y'all, I have the worst headache. I got back in about an hour ago. After I left Burlington. I know this angle is bad, y'all. I do apologize. After I left, when the last time I talked with y'all? Oh, I was, Chip was in the store. I went to Burlington. I didn't get a chance to go to Ross. I didn't take y'all along with me, but I did make a real of pretty much all the cute things that I found. They had a lot of new juicy bags, N nothing that really, you know, interests me. Um, but they did have a lot of juicy bags, juicy wallets, but nothing, like I said, that interests me. Um, they had a couple cute mugs and a couple things, home decor, I share with you guys. What I picked up, didn't get much. I think I got like three items from Burlington. Um, stopped at Chipotle and got me some lunch. So I've been seeing on Instagram where they're taking this vinaigrette dressing, mixing it in with the queso cheese. I think that's what they're mixing in. You guys, I did not get the queso cheese. However, I did get the vinaigrette dressing to put on my bowl. I always get the, I think the Baja chicken bowl. Y'all never done this before, but it was absolutely good. I think I'm going to get it again just so I can share with you. I was really, really hungry. The only thing I had for breakfast was that smoothie. I'm trying to cut back a lot of my carbs and stuff. So I've been eating Chipotle and drinking smoothies for breakfast for about a good week now. I know we stopped at the chicken place yesterday. I couldn't even eat it. I gave it to my husband. It was like four chicken tenders, fried okra, and broccoli cheese casserole. I couldn't even eat it. So he had a whole plate that he can enjoy. I just could not eat it. Um, but yeah, been home for about an hour or so now. I need to get, I took two Excedrins in total. One at 5 p.m. yesterday, and then one this morning around 9.30, I guess. Some around that ballpark figure. They say you can't consume more than that in 24 hours, so I cannot take any more, but I just have this excruciating pain. It's pressure from my ear, and it's so annoying. So I'm going to get cleaned up. I smell like vinaigrette because the bag busted. They didn't put the lid on the vinaigrette all the way. 
but I'm going to share with you guys probably a little later on. I'm going to just get cleaned up and probably lay down. And I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Slammed it on the counter. All right, y'all. I am home after a long evening of running these streets, running errands, and getting the car wash, running to a few grocery stores, and yeah. So I'm not going to get on camera because I look a whole fool. But I still need to share with you guys the things that I picked up from Ross the other day. And a few. Excuse you. I'm recording. Not nasty. And I need to share with you what I picked up the other day from Burlington. Yeah. Did all this stuff come from Burlington and Ross? I don't know. Whatever it is, I'm going to share with you guys. So I'm going to do a quick little grocery haul. Okay. This is from a store called Winko. I know every state don't have it. Let me pull y'all back a little bit. Every state don't have this grocery store, but it's an employee-owned grocery store. So, we got this pepper form onion bread. I hope y'all can see because it's pretty dark in here. We normally do our sandwiches on this. Eggs. Being that they are getting ready for this eclipse and they're trying to scare people to believe that we're in a crisis and we need to stock up for two to three weeks of grocery there they didn't have a lot of the items we normally would get so we had to substitute his more items from Winko. so we just have some green onions heart of romaine this is all mixed up our mexican style shredded cheese Two cucumbers, salt free Mrs. Dash, cherry tomatoes, and some candors, um, buttery steakhouse seasoning. Chip like put it on a, well on his steak. I don't eat that. <clears throat> We got baby Bella mushrooms, some canola oil. Just got me some peanut butter cookies. I don't need, but I will treat myself every now and then. Some um flour tortillas and one, two, three. Four box of Jiffy corn bricks, cornbread mix. Oh. Take one more bag of Winko. Here. Got some boundless, skinless chicken breasts. 
Now you can be putting some of this stuff up. I'm running out of space. Two packs of hardwood smoked maple bacon. Some taco for turkey sausage. Got two of those. Butter. Some chimichangas. I got more Winkles though. Ramen noodles. Diced tomatoes. Four cans of that. Potatoes, some white potatoes, and then we have some yellow onions. All right, finally, Walmart. Sea salt caramel ice cream. Ready, Oprah. So apparently I still have more items from Winko because Chip not putting it all out. It's still in the little grocery carry bag that we bought. Some um, tortilla chips that have got squished all up. Caramel macchiato. I don't know why he got this brand, but yeah. They say you're supposed to be drinking creamer. They say it's bad for you. All this stuff bad for you, if you ask me. Some planted oat, oat milk. Got some sour cream. Some of our favorite salsa, if we don't make it ourselves. It's the uh, mango peach salsa. Some mango orange passion fruit juice. My Connecticut dry ginger ale. Are we finally at the. Yeah, yeah, we want to know. Uh, let me go. So we some garlic powder. Wishbone, strawberry, balsamic vinaigrette. Mustard, jelly cheese. We love that type of cheese. All right, Walmart. Two bags of the garlic pepper crispy onions. We like to put these on our salads. And I also like to put them in my ramen noodles. We got some medium roast, um, roast beef, some onion powder, two bell peppers, some organic cane sugar, A jar of bread and butter chips. And a box of Zenaran chicken fry mix. And I got two things from Aldi. Well, really three. The monster cheese that I showed you guys, that came from Aldi. So here I got some kettle chips and sea salt and vinegar. And I got the Southwest um, guacamole.
happy Sunday, sunshines. This is the mug of the morning. It's a really cute Barbie mug that my good sis Angel sent me. Um, it came from Burlington. I believe it was like $5.99, $6.99. I'm drinking coffee, of course. But I have like two, three cubes of ice in it because that hot coffee was causing me to have some type of bloating or something this morning. And I've experienced that before recently, but I never have before. Excuse that. My neighbor have a motorcycle. Um, I've never experienced it before because I raved about the coffee um, that I get from Amazon. But lately it's been doing something. And I know my doctor told me to stop consuming so much. And I have cut back. Um, so I put two ice um, cubes in there just to kind of tone it down a little bit. Hopefully, you know, because I'm feeling very, you know, weird, gassy, if you will. Like, I know this TMI, but, you know, we all adults here, and this is part of life. Um, so, yeah, I'm drinking my coffee, and I'm um, just in the kitchen about to cook us a little light breakfast. I'm not really hungry, so I'll probably do, like, some eggs um one thing about me you guys um another tip i don't like scrambled eggs too much it has to be like a fried egg or some form of like an omelet but scrambled eggs i i mean i eat it but i just don't prefer it anyway he's in there cooking us some breakfast probably do like eggs maybe some sausage maybe i don't know he'll fix up something light for me um <clears throat> If I didn't mention, today is Sunday. So by the time you see this, um, it will be Sunday. <laughs> um, I just want to share with you guys a few items that I, I didn't forget. I was just too tired to share with you the other night, uh, which probably was last night. I don't know, you guys. I'm kind of all over the place because I'm not really feeling that way, but I'm going to push through. Um, I want to share with you a few items, not much, and then we're going to close out the vlog um and just start over and do this thing again next week uh yeah so let's go ahead and get started i need to find me another coffee mug warmer i had one that i believe i got from michael's a long time ago but it burnt out okay no particular order i want to share with you this is from Ross. So, I did get one home decor piece from Ross. And I got one from Burlington. I'm going to have to go back into the front to share with you that piece. But I did pick up this really cute... It's a, not, is it a spear? This is not round. It's more octagon. Hexagon. Honey. It was three nine nine. I just thought it was so stinking cute. It has these neutral tone colors that I love. It's like gray, um, cream. I just love this. And for three nine nine, I was like, why not? I've seen it before and I left it, but then I saw it again. I was like, let me go ahead and get it. It was crafted in India. You know, I love pieces that's worldly. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but it's going somewhere for three nine nine. I just love the shape. I think I'm gonna put it in my primary somewhere make a little cute little statement a little situation and next i got the beautiful beautiful steam man wallet i was contemplating on getting this wallet because i was like i don't have a bag this shade what am i going to do with it i have enough slgs but i could not leave her behind she is absolutely gorgeous look at this quilted detail and when I posted on my Instagram, all the girlies was like, get it, get it, get it. Even though I didn't ask, should I? They were just like, I hope you get it, get it. It's a cutie. Y'all, some girls was like, they were going to look for it because it's absolutely beautiful. It was $14.99. And the color is called Pink Barrette. Now, I've been telling people left and right that the colors of the Steam Men um, bags and Juicy Couture bags, the color waves are different. I've been having different conversations with different people about the color waves of different products, and you guys, there is a difference. 
I know a lot of ladies will think of this as pink funded. It's not pink funded. It's called pink barrette, but it's very similar to pink funded. So when you're out shopping and you're looking for, if you're just trying to buy a wallet or whatever, um, it's cool. But if you're trying to pair up something, make sure you check out this brown tag right here. It will tell you the name and just match it up because Steve Man does have this thing where he puts out products and they're the same item, but the color color wave is a slight different. So just pay attention to this tag. And then for me, I like to keep my tag and stick it in the back somewhere, just to reference back if I need to match it up with a bag. I always have done that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this cutie. I love the double, the like the flat right here. Kind of remind me of a Chanel wallet. Look at all this room, you guys. Look at all this room. You need this in your life. I'm not going to go into details because I don't want to hold you guys up. But you got a slot here. You have this compartment right here. Like for zipper. Uh, not zipper. For coins. Let's just open this up right quick. And look how it unzips. It goes all the way across. Super cute. I am so glad I purchased this. Um, it was only one there. And I knew that I, I just couldn't not leave it. Um, it has a place for your cash. So yeah, this is a really, really cute wallet. Very good quality. I love the thickness of it. Yeah, I would highly recommend this. And I probably um, would have gotten another one if it came in another color, like a black or, because you can always match up a black wallet, but I love, look how thick it is. It's so, it just feels good to the touch. Real cute. So you could get your hands on this. I would definitely highly recommend it. I mean, it's it's just good. I'm really, really happy I got this. Um, so yeah, I got that. What is this? Oh, this is from at home. Uh, no home decor, but just a home essential. Um, I got this um, Palo Santo and Cashmere Room Spray. I was scrolling on the at home website trying to look for a candle that, um, I think I saw an ad on Instagram, an ad or something, and they was talking about their candles. And I came across this and I was like, huh, hmm, you know, I love my Palo Santo. I, I know they wear it now. Um, I'm going to go and try this, get this. And it smells really, really, like, really, really good. It smells just like the candles that, you know, I love and stuff. And it was only $5.99. So, yeah, if you're into musky, warm, um, you know, just masculine scents like I do. I've said this before. This room spray is good. I would give it, like, a 8 out of 10. Why give it an 8 out of 10? It's because the longevity didn't seem that long. I would say when I spray, I first sprayed it in the car. Um, because as y'all saw, I got my car cleaned out and stuff, and I sprayed it in my car. Um, and it didn't last that long. Now, when I go to, if I go somewhere today, I'm gonna see if it's still, you know, fumigating the um the space. If not, I don't know. But right now, I'm giving it an eight out of ten because the longevity didn't seem that long. So, but the smell is is on point. Okay, got some items from Burlington. What is this? Oh, <laughs> I hope my nephew don't see this. I don't think he watches me, but I just got him this really cute. I know y'all probably don't care, but y'all probably have children. Um, This cute Sonic True Wireless Earbuds. Got him this. Um, Ain't much to say. It's just some cute little earbuds with a cute little Sonic Hedgehog case. So I got him that. Chip picked up us uh, some cute. Let me stop saying cute all the time. Some really nice t-shirts. I hope y'all can see them. Right here. So they're the Jordan. They're not the Jordan brand, but they are um inspired by Jordan. This is by the brand Lander. Never heard of it. Um they're Jordan inspired um t-shirts. We have some sneakers. This color. 
some Jordans and we wanted something really nice to wear with it. Uh, I don't know which is which, but that print right there is mine's and this one print right here is his. And both of these were $7.99 a piece. So we got this so we can be twinning. And lastly from Burleson, if y'all watch my reel, y'all probably already know what I picked up. You can see it in the back. You guys, I finally found the makeup bag to match my Juicy Couture train case that I hauled the last time. This little sucker was a hard find. I went to several Rosses looking for her. I finally found her at Burlington and she was $12.99. Can y'all see that? $12.99 and this is called the uh, she's huge too you guys um i don't know what it's called this called travel cosmetic case i thought it had like some information on it um but it doesn't um but yeah this was 12.99 but when i got it it had this you might can still see it it had this huge orange stain like right there and right there like some kid touched it had gross fingers or whatever it could have been a dog i don't know so when i got to the restaurant actually because she gave me a discount on it and she did she gave me 30 percent off so i paid like nine under nine and some um change or something for it It was a good deal but i always thought these were already 9.99 so that was kind of something that was sitting on my mind like i thought these was already 9.99 but anywho i'm glad to have this in my collection it's pretty pretty big like it's it's huge you guys I do like this little heart detail situation right here, this pool, but I really wish it was gold because the pink don't match. I'm just crazy like that. I really wish that pool was like gold, but it's this, you know, cute shade of pink, which is fine. I'm just funny style like that. But I do like the fact that it did come with this um, travel bottle and it has the word juicy on it. I really wish all of them came like that. That would be a cute touch. Um, whatever because I have this one that came out the train case and it's just plain so I really wish they would have done this um, little cute touch to all of them so yeah finally got that oh let me put it right there ah! I threw it and it fell over okay and last but not least Chip did pick up these um, what are these called funk pops right here we collect these because in our future home we want our theater room my music room to have a uh, resemblance of um legend music legend movie legends and and such so we have jmj gem master flash right here and this was 3.99 and then we have our good old ice cube right here 3.99 as well i just thought this was really really cute he picked these up he always the one kind of find these for us so we can display them. Right now we have quite a bit. I think we have like Whitney Houston. Um, I can't think of all of them, but we got I got TLC. I think Biggie. So yeah, that'll be nice and fun to add to our collection. So that is all that I got from Burlington, I believe. All right, you guys, that's all I want to share with you right here. I'm going to take y'all guys with me to the front. And I'm going to show you this wall art that I got from Burlington. All right, guys, so this is the wall art that I got from Burlington right here. Super, super cute. It was on clearance for $19.59. I don't know the original price, but they did mark it down twice. But I just mainly got it because it just screamed DIY. I'm going to have to put some work and love into it, but... I'm up for the challenge. I mainly got it because it was already textured. I wouldn't need to put any baking soda in my paint mix or no type of spackle or anything. It's already here for me, and that's mainly why I got it. I'm going to paint it black. I absolutely love the wood frame 
color. It's a little dark, a little rich, but I absolutely love it. If I had to choose wood, I would want my wood to look like that. So I'm excited about this piece. And of course, when I do it, I will share it with you guys. But yeah, I don't think it was too much. I really prefer to have been a little lesser, but I just figured if I didn't grab it now, somebody else would have and thought to do the same thing that I, you know, would have done. So yeah, that's my next project to the list. What you guys think? I know, um, I need to do something with my hair because it shrinks so bad, y'all. I swear, it, it, I need to get a trim like bad. My hair would probably have grown out much longer if um I would get it trimmed and treated right. It's just it's just a lot. But anywho, let me stop fooling with this because and then all my gray showing, honey. Just ooh. Anyway, you guys, I hope y'all have truly enjoyed this vlog. I know it really wasn't much, but you like, oh, I didn't hit the camera. I know I've told you guys so for, um, several times right now. Um, I'm just mainly just doing daily, you know, um, housework, going to doctors. I'm not really in those streets like I used to because of my health. But, you know, that's just a journey. I will get back to my normal routine and everything i'm not really rushing the process but i really wish whatever i'm going through um just go ahead and just oh i'm not even gonna complain because i'm here um yeah um it's something i wanted to share with you guys but i literally forgot it was something pertaining to my I want to say my TikTok. It has something to do with social media. Um, I can't remember. But if I do remember, y'all know I will come back and share with you guys the next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. That really does help my channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers for subscribing. Um, it's something. I can't. Can y'all just... I can't, have y'all ever had just like a brain fart? Like, you know, you need to say something, but it's just, it just would not come out. Oh, my lips are really, really pink and pigment because when I did my facial this morning, I put on my, um, Pixie and Hello Kitty lip tone and it has like this pinkish, um, tint to it. It's like a lip mask, like a, like a lip toner. It's, it works really, really good. It's expensive, but it works really, really good. I only use it, I think, twice a week when I do my skincare because, for one, it works really, really well. You don't need a lot. So, yeah, I think I got this one from CVS, but they do carry it at Target, I believe. So, no, I got that from Walgreens. It's something I need to tell y'all, but I just cannot for the life of me remember. But it's like, shine, tell them. And I cannot remember what it is. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm-mm. I cannot think of it for nothing. It must have been a lie. <laughs> That's what the old people used to say when you get forget something uh that you want to say. They say it must have been a lie. But no, for real. Of course it wasn't a lie. Um, but I just cannot remember what it was. But it had something to do with social media, and I cannot remember. I don't know, but it'll come back to me. Like I said, I'm going to get out of here so I can get me some breakfast. I hope each and every one of you have an amazing Sunday. Um, yeah, until my next one. Bye.